title and plenty more besides. The head-to-head -head favours Williams 17-11. He won the most recent meeting this season at the China Championship 5-0. Let's see how he gets on today. It's best of 11 to reach the last 32 of the China Open. Let's throw another world champion into the mix. Joe Johnson, I'm sure you're looking forward to this one, Joe. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't? Two great players of the game. Nothing they don't know about it. And interestingly, Ken Dock has he really raised his game earlier in the year when he played Ronnie O'Sullivan. I think it was 6-5, but he was leading that match and had every chance of winning it. He really did raise his game, and I think he's got to do that against Mark Williams today. As David said, Mark Williams is playing well. Made three centuries in his last match. Let's sit back and enjoy this one. Already a good break off from Mark Williams. The cue ball not close to the cushion, but there's a little bit of trouble here. Can't drop the cue ball on the black cushion for fear of that red behind the black. No path back to Bork. So <laughs> very early doors, he's in a, a little bit of trouble. Not what he wanted. Oh, just avoided the, min the double kiss. And that's pretty good. Took a big risk there. Had the cue ball collided with that red. Could have been expensive. Doherty was in Hong Kong just prior to the event where he ended up I don't know how exactly but he ended up playing snooker with Jackie Chan There's footage online of Jackie Chan playing a trick shot that Ken set up and then I believe he had a little bit of fun with him well the, the karaoke apparently was a big night it seemed but uh, yeah so I'm sure he's got a new supporter now anyway so better be careful, Mark. <laughs> I'll get his pal onto you. Well, he thought he could get that cue ball out, but that little kiss on the black. It's left Ken with a, an early chance. Tied the black up. For the time being. <laughs> it's a slow down. One just. of yellow or green and this is all about settling down and setting the pace of the game first one that gets into his rhythm lots of great matches over the years the world final I'm not sure which year it was but I think Ken Doxy was well behind three within a frame or two. Finished up losing 18-16, I believe. Showed his fighting qualities in that match. Good pot. Four. I think the, the question for Doherty is, w will he score? We know Williams is uh, in good nick. He made three centuries yesterday. Doherty's only made three all season, so his scoring has, has come down, and that's, I guess, the reflection of why he's fallen down the rankings a bit. But he's, in terms of table craft, he's still got it all, and that's a very positive shot getting into the Reds. Well, wasn't it just? He didn't hold back there, and I think that he knows that's what he's got to do. He's got to attack Mark Williams and hope it comes off. 
but a very positive shot there. Good sign, isn't it, that? Because no. he can't mess Mark Williams around. He's a great tactician as well, and Williams is a great winner of scrappy frames. So we're already seeing the uh, approach from the Irishman today on the attack. That's what he did against O'Sullivan in that UK Championship match you mentioned, where he played terrifically well. Well, the black is still tied up, but that won't bother him too much. He's got the pink and the blue to play with. 16. Yeah, that world final you mentioned, 2003, was 10-2 down at one point. Got it back to 11 each and eventually lost 18-16. So that never-say-die attitude is something also that has come to his rescue many times over the years. Oh, he's just not pulled the cue ball back far enough there. 22. And now he may have to play a delicate little red onto a red. If he can. Well, nicely done. Again, showing his positive attitude there. He's played a similar type of 29. shot here. I'm surprised, really, because this is missable. Red onto the red. Could have played up towards the blue and played the red that's over the pocket. Got to catch this right. Third again. Choice of pink or black. Well, now he's got himself into a winning position in this first frame. Thirty seven. Yes, I mentioned he's only made three centuries this season, but actually two of them came in the match to qualify for this tournament when he beat Paul Davison. He made two centuries in that match a few weeks ago. Ken's involved in a lot of other things in the media, but he's still very proud to be a player and wants to continue, I'm sure. Well, 46. Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan earlier on in the year. I think it was the UK Championship. He played as well as what well. I've seen him play for a long time. <coughs> O'Sullivan showed his fighting qualities as well in that match. Nice little cannon there to the reds, maybe a little heavy. 53. Fifty-four. Yeah, and it just made a difference that the position make shot. Potted the red thin, and that's why he's lost the cue ball. And this is tricky. Well, it's a big shot now in this frame, because although he's well in front, there's plenty there, and they're all there as well. If he pots this, you fancy him to win the frame. And in it goes. Yeah, that's a good shot. It's awkward. And over 
feeling. Million dollars. Right Sixty-one. Now. If he takes the blue, he's going to need another red. But it's a red right over the pocket. Sixty-two. So great start this. Williams attempted that long red. 67. Wasn't far away. Yeah, contact with the black and... Well, it wasn't an 68. easy race that he decided to take on. And he got it. Been so positive since then. 75. Fans, it's great to see him open up his account like this. 76. Yeah, he's taking the game to Williams. He played that early shot off the brown when he went into the reds. It was a statement of intent. And he's also kept the world champion cold for this frame. He's not a century, but 76. An excellent start for Dublin's Ken Doherty. Mm -hmm. First to six to reach round three, the last 32 of the China Open. This battle of two all-time greats and it's advantage Doherty. He leads Mark Williams 1-0. 56, but straight away off the break-off, he's caught the blue there. That's not like him. Not what he wanted after the good start in frame one. Yeah, nearly missed the red, One. and that's why he's not on the black. Potted the red thin, lost the cue ball. Mark Williams, won. Player. Easy enough to skim off the reds. A little bit more difficult for a left-handed player. Slightly hampered by... The... But look at this. For one of the very few players that plays like this. Cliff Wilson. He used to do a little bit of that. I'm not sure why he would play like that. It's easy enough to get the spider out. But he's got a, a couple of... Quirky shots that he plays. He plays kind of underhanded on one shot. Seems getting the rest out, but he plays it well. I've never seen anybody else play like that. Well, he plays, he sometimes plays one handed. I've seen him play one handed out of snookers, but that's a uh, mark for you. If it works, it works, I guess. But he had a chance there at the start of the frame. Doherty, not a good break-off shot. Williams, though, didn't get on the black in potting that red. Yes, and this is... Um, I think it's a shot he may have to take on, this. But he'll have to get it. No, he's playing the safety. Not the best safety, though. Left a chance at this red to the left corner. Cue ball tight under the cushion makes it a little bit more difficult. One. Well, the yellow and green. Both possible, but difficult. And 
just difficult to get off. One. No, it's Leon the red by the pink spot, I think. to miss those. It must have been tight because he had a good look at it. But he must have felt that it would go. One. to be able to play the cannon to the red next to the black. Still may be able to play on it. Eight. Fourteen. Okay, this must be tight. Wants to play the red that's closest to the right corner. the option of the other red but it's difficult to get to the black from that red and we could play for the pink into the right middle fifteen get on to the black or pink and this is going to be difficult to get back to the red with the yellow being so close to the pocket just trust it to luck a little 17 hasn't been fortunate Just a safety, try and get the cue ball in behind the blue. Mark Williams, 17. Well, finished off with a good safety shot, possibly a snooker. <coughs> a little bit disappointed there that he didn't make more. This looks good. Excellent safety. Well, deep trouble. We're trying to land up to those two reds on black cushion, but there's danger. 
trying to land up to those reds. There is a red available to that right corner. Try and land up to the red that's just below the black to the right. That's the red he's aiming for. And played it well. No applause, but that's a good escape. He was in a bit of trouble there. Yeah, there's a lot of knowledge on show, isn't there, between these two, a lot of experience. Doherty's been a pro nearly 30 years now, turned pro 1990. William's not too far behind, 92. Combined age of these two, 93. Don't worry, Joe, I'm not going to add you into that. <laughs> I was just thinking <laughs> that. Yeah. Let's not go there. <laughs> There was a time when they seemed to play every other tournament. You go back 20 years when Ken was very much at the top as well, so around about 99, 2000. They had a lot of meetings, and in the same season they played in the UK and World Finals, both close, both won by Williams, 10-9 in the UK, and as we mentioned, 18-16 at the World Championship. There's a red just below the pink spot. I'm not sure if he can hit enough of that red. In fact, he can't. Taking the other one on, I think. Yeah. Has he been fortunate? He's brought the red back up the table, but I think he's covered it. And that's trouble again. Can look at him. Cue ball held true. And it turned one way or the other, could have left the red on. The guy there with an Isle of Judd Trump t shirt on is in, on the wrong table because <laughs> Judd's on table two. He's actually lost the first frame to Robbie Williams. Maybe that's why he's moved there. <laughs> His problem is here. He doesn't want to play the safety down into the bulk area off the red near the middle pocket because he leaves that red just below the pink spot as a shot to nothing. And that's what he's concerned about. So now looking at leaving Ken that red to the middle pocket but putting the cue ball somewhere near the, the green pocket. 
So although he would be able to pot it, difficult to get to a colour. And what a shot that is. And look where the cue ball is. One. Yes, he'd left the red, but difficult to get to a colour from it. He's given himself a chance to win the frame here. What a very clever shot that was from Mark Williams. This is the pink. Mark Williams, one. So, what a chance here. Again, especially if you can play the cannon to the red next to the black. One. Didn't quite have the angle to play the cannon. And this is tricky. Foul. Ken Dahake, one. Mark Williams. Must have caught the seven. red first. Well, referee Wang Wei was on the case there. Let's see this again. Just caught the red first. It was very tight. And look where the black is. One. Great chance this for Mark Williams already. 26 points, the lead. There's that little shot that he plays. It's only him that does this. Yeah, I mean, we tried at one of the Home Nations events to get Ronnie to recreate that, and he nearly did himself an Eight. injury. He said it was just an unnatural way to play it, but not for Mark, obviously. He's a chance to get Nine. going in the match, which he's not done yet, but he had a good a performance yesterday. Well, even though it's a close match, he made three centuries on the day. They, he played on the other table, though, table two. This is table one. 16. Seventeen. Well, the red directly above the black will go. Can you leave that? Go on. Just spotted something on the black. I'm going to get it cleaned to avoid any black contacts. Already play a show, so I need. I don't touch this on the spot. No, no, no. no. Well, I think the discussion there was. The black's on its spot, but he still used the ball marker. I don't know why. Twenty-four. Fifty points, the lead. Twenty-five. Now this will help Mark Williams settle when in this frame. Still needs another red, though, and it's not straightforward, the next red. That little nudge that he played on the two reds there has just tied them up somewhat. Got to take it to the middle. A little bit more difficult. 32. This is tight. And in it goes. Field part of the match now. Kim Doherty had a couple of chances in this frame. A couple of good ones. Well, Ford. yeah, in the end, that foul, when he was trying to cut the black thin and caught the red, was, uh, was very costly. It let Williams in. 41. Forty-eight. 
49. Ooh, I didn't think that'd drop. <laughs> Hit the cushion. A, a good three, four inches for the pocket. But it's good to find these things out. 56. Yeah, the table, it did seem to be playing generously yesterday. 57. So a battle joined here. Mark Williams dominating this frame in the end. 66. He's won the China Open three times in his career. 2002 in Shanghai and then here in Beijing 2006 and 2010. 69. Never minded travelling. He won three titles in Thailand as well. Of course, this season, the World Open... Yushan, he's won a couple of German Masters. Tournament in Ireland as well, so never been a problem away from home. 78. He's made this look very easy, actually, this break. 84. Lovely clearance in the end. 91. And it is a clearance. Mark Williams. Of 91. Never in doubt was it that black. Mark Williams then comes to the party in frame two. And we're all square here in Beijing. It's one apiece with six the target, remember, to reach round three. Played before this. So this, therefore, is round two. It's the last 64. We can agree on that. Oh, and we couldn't agree that was a fluke as well. <laughs> the luck of the Irish. One. Yeah, and I think he's going to need a little bit. Everybody does. It finished well as well. He's taken the green onto the middle. And just about hard Four. enough. Had it just landed up to the red been on anything but he's on this red now he's got to find a way of getting to a color to get back to the reds but the place for the black he's not forced to be able to play onto the next red and that's why he's played up for the blue now does he go into them five play for that last loose red he's got the ideal position to open them up Positive. It could have been kinder. He's on a difficult red Ten. to the port corner or the middle. Great recovery shot. 11. Terrific recovery shot uh, from Ken Doherty. Didn't really catch the reds full enough when he went into them from the blue. Sixteen. Uh, not straight enough on this red, so it's going to have to come round the three cushions. Try and finish on black or pink, even the blue. Should have put the bark colours in there as well. Played it well though. Seventeen. Now he could take the yellow. Try and go into the reds. The black, not quite in the way. Look at the 
possibility of a plant to the left corner. Black was in the way. 21. Yeah. Recovery shot. Twenty-two uh, straight on the pink. And on the wrong side of it. Be able to go into the reds. He's played it well. He's on this red. Looks like he's a little measuring the instrument out, doesn't he? Twenty-eight. Now he's not going to be sure. He's going to be on the colour here, so make sure of the red. That's where he's done. 29. It's unfortunate, though. Not on the colour. He's opened the reds up nicely as well. Had he been on the colour, that could have been a frame winning chance, but the pink has just stopped him attacking the black. So just a safety. And make sure it is a good safety. That's why he's gone down the table to have a look to see where he wants to place the cue ball. Don't want to leave a shot. Green ball. Mark Williams with red spread like they are. Ken Dardy. Didn't want the double kiss. Twenty-nine. <coughs> I don't think he's left a shot to nothing, but he's left the safety a little bit easier. A possible plant. He's just looking at it. Those two reds there, just below the pink. It's worth looking at that because if he concentrated on the cue ball, this could go in. Meanwhile, I can tell you that Robbie Williams has gone tunnel up against Judd Trump on table two. A possible plant to the left corner. Absolute belter there, and Mark Williams. One. Such a great long ball, Potter. Six. Red to the middle, or the left corner. Seven. Seven. That gets him the right side of the blue. I'd like to get the black or pink on its spot. Ranger. 
Some movement in the crowd. I think he was more scared by the referee there. Well, I think I see. He was put off actually by the ref telling the, the audience member off. It's the left hand side on the cue ball to try and bring it back down for these reds. Eighteen. Uh, if this red goes to the right corner. I'm surprised they didn't play for this the last time round because this leads to the black or pink. Nineteen. Twenty five. Six. It's not the best place for the cue ball. Difficult to manoeuvre the cue ball from there, so I'll just drop it in for the red to the middle. It wasn't easy. Thirty-two. Well, Doherty made a good start, 76 in the first frame, but a few mistakes have crept in since, and Williams just feeding off them. He's got a great touch. Forty six. Pink in the black spot area. Hardly hits the ball, but still maneuvers the cue ball well. Forty-seven. Eighteen points the difference, so still needs another red in colour. And he's a little short. Uh, two or three inches. Fifty-three. Could have been a gimme this red. This is missable. Especially if he needs the rest. Never easy. Mark Williams, 53. Fortunately, the red has run safe, but I think at this stage, Ken Doherty pleased to be back at the table. Could have been 2 1 down had the red gone in. Slow down, but can he get 
to it. Had to swerve it slightly, but it was a poor safety in Ken Doherty to send the cube, uh, the red, so close to the pocket. Yeah, that's all I was saying. These mistakes have just crept in. There's another one. Williams needs the brown. Doherty needs a snooker. So after that good start in frame one, five things have turned round. Seven. Two snookers needed now. The yellow's in. Here we go. <laughs> William special. It works for him, that's the point. How does he do that? Can. It's incredible, isn't it? As you say, it works for him. Fourteen. Nineteen. Williams, 19, and So frame. a safety error from Doherty set up that chance. There's a few mistakes prior to that from the Irishman as well. And the Welshman, Mark Williams, happy to take advantage. He leads in Beijing by two frames to one. <laughs> but it was in a PTC. In 2011, Doherty's last win. What's happened since then, of course, is that Ken's gone down the rankings and Mark's come back up again. Too thin, making contact with the red. And what's the damage? Can look at to get to that, this red to the right corner. One. have been straighter on the black. <coughs> oh, that's a nice kiss on the brown. Eight. I think it would have been on the red near the right side cushion. This is easier. Nine. It's a slight angle on the black. You can decide to play the loose red on the right side cushion or the one next to the pink. Seventeen. That looks just right. Fifteen. 
24. Didn't quite catch the right red here. Missed the red directly above the black, which would possibly have opened them up better. This is tough. Well played. The recovery. Well, meanwhile, it's going to be 3-0 to Robbie Williams on table two, so Judd Trump in early trouble. Williams is uh, looks like he's about to make a century, so clearly playing well there. Saw it with Craig Stebman yesterday, didn't we? He wasn't fancied against Mark Selby, but he played superbly. Bottom line is he played a lot better and got the job done 6-3. It's all about taking your chances for the players lower down the rankings when they meet one of the, the top players. He has made the century, Williams, so it's a great start for him, 3-0. Position. Again, Ken Lockerty. It's red to the right corner. 27. It's still not an easy table as yet. Yeah, I couldn't get into the pack of reds there. Thirty five. It was difficult to get onto this red, to the yellow pocket. But he's managed to do it, but it's a tough pot. Even if he can get the right side of the blue here. No. Needs a bit of luck. Ken Dahke, 35. I don't think he got it. One. Well, he's on the blue, but where's the next red coming from? Well, to hold the cue ball to there. This is still a tough pot. Seven. Now that's just about where he wants to be to be able to go into that pack of reds. Nine. Probably needed to hit it a little bit harder. Looks to be end of break. Mark Williams, nine. I'm just looking to see if those two reds are a plant. Williams would be really unfortunate to have turned it into one. Yep. He's 
Robin, you're lucky there. Mark Williams. And give it full consideration One. there. And look where the cue ball's finished. Perfectly on the blue. What and a chance now. And maybe another plant there as well. As you say, what a great chance. Well, in terms of the reds, there's nothing safe. By the time he gets to green and brown, he won't need them. It's a big chance, this, for Doherty to make it 2-2. Two -two. He, he would feel that he should do, I'm sure. Six. Started the match really well, made 76 frame one. Seven. Yeah, I'm just coming around to look at these two reds. Two years it is since he won the Fourteen. World Championship, beat Stephen Hendry in the final, ended his long run of success at the Crucible. Fifteen. And uh, Ireland was so gripped by the match that Dublin Central Police Station did not receive a single call. As Ken said, even the criminals had the night off. And Ian Fergal is still Ireland's two top players, remarkably. Some of the younger players have come and gone over the years, but they're still going strong, although they're both involved in this fight to stay on the tour. This is a big match for Ken Doherty. It would certainly help him significantly if he could win it. Well, it looked like a great chance to win the frame, and it looks like that's what he's done. 31. Got him with that plan, and it's kept going. Sets it up nicely for when they come back after the interval. Yeah, as I said earlier, he was a little unlucky, Mark Williams, to have played the safety 38. and moved that red in front of the other one to leave the plant. Again, fault. 39. Pretty. Played a good plant, screwed off the reds perfectly onto the blue. And you can see that he's still got it. He 45. Cut out those mistakes that. Sorry, just 47. Carelessness, I suppose. Because you can see that he's still got the game, still plays well, still sees them well. Yes, and I think also. Continued to show the game respect. He's looked 52. after himself and still treats snooker professionally when he's 53. not hanging out with Jackie Chan, <laughs> as he was last week. Now he's a class act, Ken Doherty, and he's done what he had to do here, which is make the winning break to win this frame. 60. Sixty-two. Lots of right hand side on the cue ball. To get the cannon. Well, he's the doll in a Dublin. Not on this occasion. Ken Doherty. Sixty-two in the frame. Good sixty-two though from Ken Doherty to level up. So an interesting match here between two very experienced legends of snooker, Mark Williams and Ken Doherty. At the interval, cannot be separated. Two-two, six. Well, again, two-two with Ken Doherty who won that fourth frame with a good 62, having fallen 2-1 behind. It's first to six to reach the last 32 of the China Open. The winner plays either Ricky Walden or Chang Bing Yu. They are there up later on. Well, 
man is getting good at just missing that double kiss. Very close to it again uh -huh. there. Well, the red is cuttable to that right middle, but he won't know where the cue ball's going. Well, surely he's not going to play this one-handed. Wow. Yeah, just caught Can the black. It must have been <coughs> very close, that. So, nearly chance for Ken Doherty. Well, he did something similar earlier, didn't he? In fact, he was on the black and caught a red, Ken, and he lost the frame from it, actually. This occasion was the other way round. Six. Seven. Yeah, could have done with being a, a little bit closer to the blue. That cue ball could be going close to the red. And that's why he had to play it so slowly because the cue ball could have been going into the red. Twelve. Well, control that one well. That was difficult. But anyway, just a little bit of screw on the cue ball. And could have done with a little bit more angle on the black. Not sure if the red will pass the pink into the right middle. If it does, then that would be the red to play on. The two reds above the black spot. Well, very difficult from there. Twenty. Well, he was forced into taking that red on to the bolt corner because he didn't get on the red as he wanted to the right middle. A little disappointed there that he didn't make more. But it could have been worse, and that's not the best safety from Mark Williams. A double kiss. Well, he needs to... Make here, here, Ken Doherty, while Mike Williams is just struggling a little bit after the interval. One. Well, again, decision to make. Does he play for the loose red or go into them? 
Uh, played the positive shot and it couldn't have landed any better. Choice of reds Six. and the black and pink free. Great chance to take a 3-2 lead here. Yes, yeah, a shot that pioneered by Stephen Hendry and Ken Doherty played it superbly, giving himself every chance of building a, a, a lead big enough to take the frame. Williams all at sea, though, since the interval. Seven. Yeah, and rightfully so. Just slowed himself down there after making such a good split. Just steadying himself. So easy to rush into things. Fourteen. Could have played that one better. Wanted to be straighter on this this red to the corner. Fifteen. And that wasn't the best positional shot. Not only is the pink harder, but so is the positional side of the shot as well. Get the red to the left corner. Yep, another good recovery shot. Nicely on the red next to the pink. 54 points the lead. Has he come far enough for the red? 34. Still needs a couple of reds. Yep, he's come far enough. Thirty-five. Yeah, the next red is not straightforward. Not sure if any of these reds will go to the left corner. <coughs> Needs a bounce. Oh, and that's just where he didn't want to be. Little cut back. Half an inch harder would have been straightforward this. Yeah, well played. That was missable. Yeah, he's kept it going nicely, and now Williams needs a snooker. Mark Williams really butchered that safety, got the double kiss to set up this chance, and immediately Doherty into the reds off the blue, very positive shot. He's kept it going. Yeah, he needs to pop this black, though, rather than playing position. Only one snooker and made sure of the black. 50. Mm. 
Another Good cracker. One. Well, it's really good to see Ken Duck is playing so well. As I said earlier, he played exceptionally well against Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's like he knew he had to. Well, he knows he's got to play well against Mark Williams. And so far, he's doing it. Yeah, and what's encouraging is he's not come out to mess things around. He's attacking the game, 66. taking the game to him. Sixty-seven. She's uh, third half century of the match. Could yet be a century. Seventy-four. You could have done with being just a little harder. So up for the blue. Got to get the right side of it. Seventy-five. Just. Eighteen. It seemed like a little kick. Well, it took the pace out of the cue ball. That striking ball so well. Made that one look easy. 26 years since he won his first major title, the Welsh Open, 1993. His continue, continuing uh, presence on the tour is not guaranteed yet. But if he carries on playing like this, it will be. So this blue for a century break, only his fourth of the season, it would actually be his third in this year's China Open. Brilliant stuff from Ken Doherty. Yeah, he made two in the qualifier. And this has been superb. Just found a little bit of difficulty a couple of times, but kept it going really nicely. And he'll be feeling so good to have made a break like this. It's a clearance of 115 from Ireland's Ken Doherty. Mark Williams made a bad safety error left him the chance and Doherty has grabbed it with both hands and he is back in front at 3-2. Nothing wrong with the clearance he made there in frame five. I can tell you Judd Trump has resumed against Robbie Williams and it looks like he's gonna pull another one back so it's looking like 3-2 to Williams there. It was 3-0. Well decided to play off the reds thick, but just caught them a little too thick and a little fortunate to say the least. Gilmore just creeping in behind the brown. Doesn't look hard enough. 
foul. I think he was playing to come off the cushion. Closer. Foul, Miss Kendadi Four. Doesn't want to come past the Reds. A fraction harder, and it would have been an easy red this to the right corner. Well, so much left-hand side on the cue ball there to avoid the black. And he couldn't have played it any better. <coughs> Little tap on the table from Ken Doherty. Come down to look at, see if the red will cut to the right corner, but it's dangerous. So I decided to play a different type of shot. Again, using a lot of left hand side on the cue ball to try and check it back down the table, which is done. Difficult shot, so easy to swerve the cue ball. And both these players, as we mentioned earlier, terrific safety players, great thinkers of the game, and similar type of shot there from Doherty, playing it with a lot of left-hand side on the cue ball. Yes, of course, they both grew up in an era where junior snooker was booming and they learnt their craft playing a lot of match snooker. They weren't just going down the club hitting balls. They were playing tournaments and learning their way. And they've amassed all that knowledge between them. But <laughs> Mark Williams has missed hit that one. Yeah, and hasn't he got fortunate? He's missed the ball completely. The ball that he was playing to hit. And very, very fortunate not to have left something to go out there.
And again, he makes an error on the safety. And again, he's been a little fortunate not to have left something easy. He may have left a red on, but... Yeah, this isn't easy at all. Could have been a lot easier, but a chance. And he's nicely on the black, but there's pressure on this. Oh, what a great chance this is. He's forced the mistake. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Well, by playing that red, he was always going to be slightly hampered over these reds. And that's made a difference with his positional play, although this red, if it goes to the middle, it's the best red he could have played for. That frees the way for the pink to be respotted and available. So the blue puts him 53 in front, still several loose reds to go at. Yes, and these 45. two reds below the pink, the best reds to have played on. 46. It's not labouring around about it either, is he? He's getting on with it, Doherty here. His average shot time, about 21 and a half seconds. Williams just a little less than that. That's the thing about snooker, 52. we've seen it many times. If you stand there looking for problems, eventually you'll find one. Yeah. Yeah, gonna need to extended rest, I think. Here it comes. It's in his favour, though, there's a few reds on cushions in case he does falter here. Yeah, that eases the pressure, doesn't it? 
knowing that it's going to be difficult for your opponent to punish and win the frame if you do miss. But he's within a couple of reds here of Seagull in this frame. Played it well. Inch perfect there. 60. This has got to be the concern for Williams. It's the fact that this is the way Doherty is winning these frames. He's winning them in with big breaks. 61. Made 115 last frame. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that, does it, David? Winning a frame at one visit, whether it's a century or an 80. One visit snooker. The other concerning thing for Williams is that he himself 67. is making errors. He needs to snooker if this red goes in. And in it goes. 68. Another fine contribution from the 1997 world champion. Was it 97? <laughs> Time flies, doesn't it? He looks the same as well. <laughs> he really does. He looks the same. As you said earlier, he's looked after himself. Gonna be 50 this year and no grey eyes there. 75. Well, it's gonna be difficult to get back to back centuries, but Another very good break. <laughs> good positional shot. Had to really punch that black in to get that cue ball there. Sorry, 82. I just can't miss. He's playing so well. 90. And as you say, David, this has got to be a concern for Mark Williams. He didn't expect Kendo Kutti to be playing this well. Well, the red 90. stays out, but 90 will do very nicely. Two great frames from the Irishman since the interval. And for the first time, there's more than one frame between them. Mark Williams has got a few problems here. The Irishman really putting together so make two one up so he's actually lost three on the spin but since the interval he has struggled and Doherty has played really well Well, he's been threatening, hasn't he, to get that double kiss. I, I mentioned earlier that he just missed it twice. And that's because he was trying to get the cue ball near to the jaws of that right corner. <laughs> so Williams couldn't pop the red along the cushion. Well, what's the damage? Looking at the possibility of a three ball plant there. But if he does play it, it'll be taking the cue ball down the table. And he's playing it. Yeah, good shot. And well spotted. So, Mark Williams with a chance, and it's a good one. The Reds are nicely placed. Well, he needs to produce something, doesn't he, after what Doherty's Six. done last few frames. Mark Williams, only half century and 91 in frame two. But he did make three centuries yesterday against Harvey Chandler. Seven. 
It's an interesting match that Chandler made his highest ever break, 130, and really pushed Williams, but uh, maybe experience just telling at the end, and he got the win 6-4. He's currently the only player who knows when he'll be playing at the World Championship because he's defending champion, so we know he's at the top of the draw. He'll be walking out 10 o'clock first mornings, April the 20th. 15. 15. Twenty-three. Referee Wang Wei has to get this pink in line. Mark's just going to have a take it easy while he does that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Kong taking it easy. There have been signs in recent tournaments of the former coming back. In the, particularly the last event, the Tour Championship in Clandidno, where he was in control all day against Judd Trump. Led 8-5, but Trump just came through in the end 9-8. I think it was a disappointing Third defeat seven. for Williams, just because of how well he'd played. They didn't quite get the win. Thirty-eight. Well, I've still got one more red he could play for above the black, but this is a good spot to go into them. And if he could miss that red in front of the pink or just catch it thin, they should split nicely. And he'll settle for that. Slightly hampered by the red. 43. But if it, this goes in and he gets onto the black, well, he's not hampered. That well, shouldn't be a problem. And the reds, Four. very nice now. It was an, a positive, aggressive shot he played there, going into the pack. Could have played for the loose 51. one. It's been a really good match, hasn't it? And it's bubbling up nicely. Yeah, there's been some good safety in the last frame before Doherty won it with that 90 break. Good scoring. Century break. What more could you ask for? And now, Mark Williams. 59. Showing us what he can do. Well, it's tight, but I think it goes. Well, he doesn't really want to take any risks at this stage. The black to lead by 67, so he's going to need one more red, and then it'll be 4-3 without uh, snookers. Well, it could have been better. 67. OK, should get the red, whichever one he takes. He's got choice of three, but should have been straighter on any of these reds.
and had to put everything into the red, and rightfully so. 68. So one snooker needed. So maybe time to push something safe, just in case. Look, as he does get the snooker. Unless you can pot the pink, of course. <laughs> Great cutback, and they like that one. 74. Well, it certainly helps because now it's two snookers, and it's certainly not beyond Williams to knock this red in. Yeah, you just fancied him to pot that. 75. Yeah, and he'd be nicely on the black without the kiss on the red. Black's potable. But there isn't a red to play on without going in and out of Bork. Well, the main thing is I don't think Doherty will play on from this position. Oh. Mark Williams, 75, end frame. Yes, a good 75, that. Just what he needed, Williams, because Doherty was playing really well. Mark Williams, so right back in contention. As I say, really interesting and high-quality match in all areas. This only one in aims to play. Ken Doherty, four. Mark Williams, three. And Williams just made a 75 break to win that seventh frame. And Trump, by the way, is 4-2 down to Robbie Williams. Williams hung on to win that sixth frame. It's live on the Eurosport player, as table two will be all week. Well, took the red on, but made sure he missed it on the thin side so he could get the cue ball back to the bulk area. But it could have gone anywhere. And that cue ball just coming past the yellow to leave Mark Williams with another chance to the left corner this time. I think the black will go to the left corner, but the pink's available. Good pot. And he's on the pink. One. Eight. Now missed it on the near angle. Mark Williams, eight. And not happy. Got the cannon to the red, which is what he intended. Forgot to pot the black, so... Good opening this for Ken Doherty, and if he could get to five, with three frame, frames to go at to win, that's where the nerves start. One. Wrong side of the blue. He's got the angle on the black to stun across for the red into the same pocket. Just got a little bit too much into the cue ball, but it should be okay. Eight. No. Well, he's got the angle to go into them. If he's feeling confident, he's been very positive so far. And I think if he wants to win the frame at this visit, he's got to play it. 
Uh, how's your luck? Well, he's on a red to the right corner. It's just bounced enough off that side cushion. I don't think he can hold for the pink to the middle, so may have to play up for the blue or one of the bulk colours. Well, he could hold for the pink. 17. Appreciated by the crowd. And this could hurt Mark Williams if Doherty could punish here. 24. Anything but straight, and he can get to that red above the middle pocket. Would have liked to have saved that one, though, for a rainy day. And again, could have done with being straighter on the red, would have been able to get back to the blue. But it shouldn't be a problem playing on one of the ball colours, coming back down for the reds. Thirty. The yellow's perfect. Right from the start of this match, he's played so positively. 32. He's been trying to get the balls into play and make breaks, and he has been. 76, 62, 115, 90. Oh, oh, he's missed that one. Yeah, it's just that odd shot here yeah, and there, and that 32. could be costly. He was looking like 5-3 for a moment, and he'll be absolutely foaming with himself. Not an easy table, this, for Mark Williams, though. But it's One. a chance he shouldn't have had. Yeah, a chance he, I'm sure, wasn't expecting. He won the last frame with a 75. And taking that red releases the other one. Not sure about those two reds closest together. If either, either of those reds go. Thirteen. Well, the go now. <coughs> and this will hurt Ken Doherty if he should lose this frame. 20. After missing an easy road like he did. Twenty-one. Well, it's about these reds, isn't it, down the left-hand side now? Well, he might be able to leave an angle on this next red to be able to bring those reds into play. Or at least one of them. The one closest to the middle is accessible. Well, he's developed two of them, but can he get to that red in the bulk area?
Can he get to it? And the answer's no. 33. Mark Williams. 13. So, nine points in it. Big moments in this match. And Doc, is he pleased that he's coming back to the table? With just nine points in it. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, I think he was going to try and play the red down the table off the jaws of that yellow pocket. I mean, it's risky to play the pot. Doesn't like it, whichever one he decides. Fascinating duel here between two wily campaigners. 5 3 or 4 4 at the end of it. Well, as he left him a little tempter here down the cushion. But Mark Williams is very crafty. He knows if he takes it on, he's left handed and he can take the other red on. Good kiss on the black. That red would have been going close to that right corner. Now, maybe a chance at the double here beyond the brown. And it would be safe if he missed it. The applause you can hear Judd Trump's pulled one back so 4-3 to Robbie Williams on table two well anxious looks here from Ken Doherty to see if this red will cut to the left corner all three reds available if it does does it cut No attempt. Oh, wait for it. 
can well, that, that is unexpected and the other red available so all three reds available another good chance for ken doherty yeah it's not seven points it's the fact that now the red's on now Nicely and earlier, broke down unexpectedly. One. Uh, needs to slow down. Just right on the yellow or the green. pressure on these though isn't there you know he's not had many big wins of late and this would be huge to beat the world champion of course he still needs another frame after this one needs to miss the black didn't want a little flick on the black there three now if he plays down for the blue got to get the right side of it don't think he can hold for the black which would be ideal side is he no he's just got there perfectly onto the blue oh oh whoa whoa i'll run oh well he's just got there he shouldn't have been anywhere near the black to be fair done Big moments for Ken Doherty. He needs the brown. Seventeen. And no heroics if he does get that. That's what he's always been good at down the years is winning these tight frames. Nineteen. In that world final. Stephen Hendry actually outscored him in total points, but Doherty won the close frames. Green and brown should be 5 3. Yeah, as I say, no heroics here. No need to try and get onto the blue. Just make sure of the brown. Two snookers would be required. 26. Yeah, very good break, because there was pressure on him. And this is where those seven points have made a difference. That black that Williams knocked in. Doherty would still have needed this blue, but for that. And the blue's in. What a pot that is. <laughs> 31. Yeah, the pressure off, but great pot. That seals this frame. He's played well all day. A little slip up earlier in this frame, but he's made amends with this visit. 37. As the pick the sails in as well. And Ken Doherty, playing some of his best snooker for a long, long time, has put himself one frame away from knocking out the world champion. He leads Mark Williams 5-3. Something. Ken Doherty's played really well in this match. The question is, can he close it out if he gets a chance? Can Mark Williams, if he gets a chance, make this closer? And put pressure on the Irishman. He's looking for one of his best wins for some time. Remember, he dropped off the tour, was given a two-year card by the WPBSA at the start of last season. In his first tournament, he actually got to the semi-finals in Riga. But at the moment, it's unclear whether he'll be in the top 64 at the end of the season or not. If he wins this match, it's a massive help towards that. Twenty-two. 
and the three. Well, it was a chance. There's pressure on both of these two. Apologies if you're hearing the sound from the other table, by the way. Hopefully that will be sorted out shortly. Well, you wouldn't say that this is a good chance, but it is a chance. Very difficult pot, this. But if he plays it for the brown or yellow, it may take a little bit of pressure off the shot. Could even play to the ball cushion for the green. Oh, doesn't want to hit the angle. And a little short of pace there. That was just a little nervy shot that I feel. Didn't want to take the red on. Got to stay positive, Ken. Didn't particularly play a good safety. This isn't easy. Good pot. Excellent pot One. that from Mark Williams. He was leaving reds on, had he missed it. And that's another good one. Not easy those. You're two frames behind. And you know if you miss it, your opponent's Eight. a chance of winning the match. Now, in ideal position. Nine. Got to keep it that way. Sixteen. Just under hit it slightly. Don't think he can get to the black. In the World Open earlier this season in Yushan, he was behind several times on the way, and each time seemed to grow stronger. I mean, in the final, he was 9-5 down to Dave Gilbert. Twenty nine. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Yeah, that red behind the black, just limiting his choice of shot he can play. Couldn't really get 45. ideal position on the next red. So a little bit more work to do here. Played it well though, nicely back down 46. for the blue. Now he could decide to go into them here. 
Although there is a red that will go to the left of the pink and the one to the middle. So it doesn't need to, but if he does play to go into them gently, he'd be guaranteed to be on the red to the right middle. Played with that red to the left of the pink. Well, similar type of scenario. Doesn't need to go into them, but if he did, he's got some insurance. And that's okay. Develop more reds. And still on this red to the middle. Fifty-eight. Been a pretty swift contribution so far. The blue puts him 63 in front, still 75 on. Yeah, one more red in the colour, and he should be safe. 63. Ken Doxty had a chance, refused the red, chose to play safe, and didn't really get it safe. 64. And this black. And it's going to have cost him. Yeah, in no time at all as well. Like Good another luck. red as well, though, because obviously Ken will play on if he gets the chance. There's applause for frame ball. As David said, could do with this red going in. Mark Not Williams, to be, so 71. a very swift 71. That's what he leads by, but there's it's one snooker to tie with blacks, and Doherty's going to do his best to try and extend this frame. Yeah, excellent pot. One. But he needs this pink in, really. Played it cushion first, and that was a clever little shot he played there. And Seven. he's not out of this frame yet. Well, I'll tell you who's out of the frame in terms of the top 16, Ryan Day, because he's just lost 6-1. So he's guaranteed now to be qualifying for the World Championship, Sam Craigie. He's into the last 32. Good win for him. Fifteen. And Judd Trump has gone five 16. three down to Robbie Williams, so he's in the same position that Williams is in. Mark, that is. <laughs> 
here, looking to turn it round. He just wants to leave that red behind the pink. 23. So he can play the snooker. And just checking the scoreboard. Needs two snookers, so he may as well play for the pink. Still need two snookers. Now needs to finish low on this red here. Or finish high on it. Either way, he needs to have a good angle to be able to play the snooker. Yeah, he could get low on the red with a chance of trying to get that cue ball close to the pink. 30. And if he could manage to send the red next to a colour, he may have a chance of a free ball. Ken Dahadi, 30. Well, that's not a bad snooker. Don't think there's any chance of a free ball, but... It's not bad where it is. Needs two of them. Yeah, Williams, it's where it got dangerous when Doherty got down to the last red. It's always, it's always when it gets a bit tense in this situation. Foul. And there's one of them. And, Daddy, four. and what a great chance to get that cue ball in behind the green. Oh, this is a nervous time now for both players. If you can get that cue ball tight in behind the green... Foul. Oh, he's gone Four. enough. Four. Just got a little bit too much screw on the cue ball. And what a chance that was. But as I said, it was a nervous shot to play. Well, it could have been an evil snooker, but just too much on the white. And don't be surprised if he knocks this in. Well, he hasn't. So we're back to two snookers needed. Yeah, just going back to that last attempted snooker by Ken Dock, he didn't need to play the red right down the table because, as you said, David, if he gets it tight in behind the green, it doesn't matter where the red is, it's going to be very difficult to escape from. And this is another good attempt. It better be a snooker because the red is available. And surely that's the end of this frame. Yeah, it just feels like he's missed the boat with that in off. As far as this frame's concerned, in goes the red. Well, it was a chance, one, one but considered. he's going to have to wait Mark for Williams. another frame. Mark Williams hangs on. He made that 71 earlier on, and the in-off was certainly costly for Ken Doherty. So a possible... T so frame 10 getting underway. It's 5-4 to Ken Doherty against Mark Williams here in Beijing. Williams won the last frame. Can he win this one and force a decider? Well... It's a good cue ball. Oh, good kiss on the yellow. Leaves Mark Williams badly hampered. Yep, just got there.
these two played so many matches, not just against each other, but just generally that have been tense and close, but nerves are hard to control and it, it means so much as well. It would mean a lot for Doggerty to, to beat Williams here. The world champion, Mark Williams, looking the course for confidence going to the Crucible. So big half an hour or so coming up here. Well, maybe a chance of trying to get him behind the brown. Well, that was a nice little rub on the brown there. Just caught it. Oh, which way is this going to run? Well, He's normally such a good judge ball. with the pace on the ball there. But it's going to go back that surely. Could try and get the cue ball in behind the yellow. Looking to see if he could play the red in off a red in playing that shot. And he's not far away. What a good shot that was. And look, he played. He played some kind of position. Didn't try and get him behind the yellow. He looked at the shot, wasn't a fluke, didn't hold his hand up. He gets the chance. Well, a terrific pot, that. Wow. Very inventive. Well, that could have been better. Five. He's on a red to the right corner with the rest. But the positional side of the shot, not easy. I'm not sure if you can screw to the red, that's to the left of the black. Come yes, on. well, Kenny's a commentator as well, of course, and he knows the old cliche is the last frame is the hardest to win. And it's an old cliche because it's true. Because the pressure's on to get over the winning line. Oh, he played it well. He played the cannon to that red, as suggested, and he couldn't have played that any better. Now, he could decide to go into them with the advantage and insurance of that red to the right of the black. Wouldn't need to hit them hard. Just nudge a couple out. I decided not to go into them. 13. But held it too well. I don't think he can hold for the black, so down for the pink or blue. At this stage, don't think about winning, just building a lead. That eases the pressure a little. Fourteen. Just the wrong side of the pink. Wanted to be straight. What a delightful little cannon he played there. Tied up now. Uh, 
just checking and slowing himself down a little. Checking the, that the black will go to that left corner. Well, it must have been pretty tight. 21. And at this stage, he doesn't want to take too many risks. He can play on both reds here. One to the side cushion, one behind the black. But if the black doesn't go, then play on the red behind the black and needs to slow down. He's OK. 26. Would have liked that cue ball closer to the cushion. He'd have had a nice angle then to get back to the black. Well, he could play into the reds or try and play a delicate cannon to the red, to the right of that bunch. And then that's what he played, but he caught the wrong red, but he's not too bad. He's on this red down the cushion. 34. But after this red, where's the next one coming from? But I'll leave an angle on the colour to disturb the reds. Got to pot the red. 35. Oh, and that's not ideal. Needed to be closer to the black. He can do it. He can play the shot. But it's such a difficult shot, this, to go into them. Well played. And deserved to be on a red, but he isn't. Didn't avoid the shot. 42. Just didn't catch them thick enough. Well, he's built a useful lead of 46 points. Yeah, he needs to come off these reds very thin with lots of right-hand side on the cue ball. Doesn't want to push one over that right corner. Ken Dowdy. 42. Well, could have been worse. But as you say, it's a nice little lead, 46. Well, that's opened things up. Oh, and he's fluked one to the oh, middle. Oh, oh, amazing. He's opened everything up, as you say. One. He's fluked one. He's on the yellow. Amazing. In one shot, everything's turned round. Yeah, and he'd left a red on to the right there, to the left corner. So what a fluke that was, because Doherty would have had a chance to win Three. frame a match had it not gone in. How important is that fluke going to be? Yeah, it's supposed to be the luck of the Irish, isn't it? Not the Welsh. <laughs> yeah. More importantly, how is it going to affect Ken Doherty? Because he knows that he'd left a red on. But there's lots of pressure. 11. 12. But one thing this guy is good at is pressure. You don't win three world championships without being able to handle pressure. Well, no, and, and the three he won were all 18-16, so he was bang under it every time, including, of course, against Doherty in 2003. Nineteen. Well, they're all there for him, aren't they? And uh, I suppose the only thing 
Ken Doherty can tell himself is that it wasn't his fault, but it's hard to, hard to take nonetheless. Twenty-eight. Well, just over screwed that one. Which meant he couldn't get near to this red. Well, needs a good recovery. He should get the red, but there's lots of pressure on this shot. Oh, and he's missed the red. Mark Williams, 31. Now, can King Doherty take advantage? It's not easy. The red, that's on to the left corner. But one good pot here. He's got a 15-point lead. There goes the red. Needs to come out of Bok. And he has done. What a great one. chance. Yes, and he's played so well all day. You do fancy him to do it, but the pressure's on to get over the line. In what would be a big win for Three. him. 18 points, the difference. Four. The green, perfect, to come down for the two reds to the left corner. Could have done with being closer to the red. Seven. But he should be okay. Eight. Big moments, these, for Ken Doherty. Big moments. Well, it's two more balls. It's this black and the red. It's got to be said as well. It wouldn't just be the, the victory. It's the performance. He must be happy with. He's played so well. He's had some big breaks, 76, 62, 150, 90. 15. And it's all down to this red to leave Mark Williams needing snookers, but I don't think he's going to get the chance to play for them. Yeah, big win this for the Irishman. 16. One of his best in quite a while. Well, you've got to take your hat off to him, especially with all those breaks Thanks that you just you. mentioned there, David. He's done it in style, in danger of dropping off the tour. And this £6,000 pushes him up five or six places and puts him safe for the moment. 28. Yeah, it's been an excellent performance. It's been a really good match, actually. Williams did have his chance in this frame, just went wrong. I mean, Stover did it. <coughs> For the blue ended up on the green and then missed the long red 32 and the clearance okay not the most complicated clearance but the pressure was on and he's made it and he'll feel great here potting these balls put himself in the last 32 37 43 yeah terrific win and, and a terrific and performance from ken doherty he's beaten the world champion Mark Williams here in Beijing. He will be delighted, not just with the win, but as I say, with how well he played today. And he puts himself through to the next round, the last 32, as he signs.